when you think about it, Japan in an anime industry is the original Netflix. It really is. Think about it. Anything, any sort of junk can be animated over there. Like any stupid generic idea can be animated and just just put it out there every freaking season. Just like Netflix. They don't do it monthly like Netflix, like new releases every month. But they do it every season. They've been doing it way before Netflix even existed, when you think about it. And now I go back on it. I do like this because it gives an idea for anything to be animated, even things you like. So I do like that window of opportunity. But yet, this comes with a Achilles heel, sort of say. So what I'm trying to go with this. It was like, what, going on 2 o'clock a.m. this morning, well, night, you want to say. I was watching the Nick Orcada live streams like I do every time to fall asleep because he does a great live stream to fall asleep on. And someone tagged me in saying, hey, man, you should watch this. It's an isekai that came out today. You, sh you should watch it. I'm like, why? I, oh, sure, I'll watch it. But what's so important is I want you to, when you do watch it, let me know. Does it remind you of anything? I'm like, okay, sure, let's, let's watch this. So I did. And then he went back. So like, did you watch it? Yes, I watched it. He says, what makes you feel like? I ain't saying nothing. Why not? You know, because I'm going to make a video about it, and I'm going to tell you then. But I'm not giving you the freaking gratification at freaking 2.30 in the morning. Hell no. I'm going to take a nice little sleep, and I'm going to get up, and I'm going to get all angry about it again today. And here we are. What am I so angry about? This anime called Kenja no Mango. It's an isekai. With no freaking substance whatsoever. It's entertaining. And I think I still will be watching it, but I won't be reviewing it. Oh, hell no. But I'll still be watching it because it'll probably be one of my guilty pleasures of the season, which I have every season I have a guilty pleasure anime to watch. This one might be it. So why do I just test but yet continue to watch this anime called Kenjai no Mango? Let me give you the round the round play. It's about uh average salary man, you don't get to see his face, he works overtime, he's antisocial, he doesn't really talk to anybody, even his coworkers try to invite him out to eat. He turns it down to work over overtime. Then he thinks back his brain like there's no one to come talk to or go home with anyway, so I might as well work all day. So he has this notion where he is lonely only because he chooses to be lonely. You know? Then the next stupid part is how he dies. I know a lot of people catch on to the people said it's generic. Yes, it was generic how he died, but still, it was dumb as hell. The entire situation was dumb. And this is what I mean by this. Okay, in Japan and any other kind of city, hell, even here in Charlotte, when you're uptown, there's a lot of crosswalks, and there's a group of people that usually crosswalk with you. You don't cross the fucking street or road unless you see the sign. Okay, I understand the dumbass had headphones in, or earbuds, or he was too busy on his phone, or someone pushed him, or he tried to save someone. Do you know how he died by the truck? He just walked across the street. His eyes were open. He just walked across the street. And he got hit by a truck. He looked distracted. He was just walking across the street. Like, what kind of shit is that? It makes it more like he wanted to die. More than anything. And furthermore, let's talk about the buy center people. You have a group of people right there. You see a guy about across the street and cars are coming. This is what this dude did. Uh, excuse me, sir. It stops. And then the guy walks away. He lets him get hit by the truck. I've seen this shit happen before. Tons of times with a bunch of dumb young people wearing headphones in. I wear headphones in too when I'm walking across the street, but I always look both ways and pay attention to my surroundings. I've been doing this since I was a kid. But there have been times where I've seen people, and I've done myself, where some dumbass is about to cross the road and I have to grab them by the collar of their shirt and say, Watch where you're going. Could have been killed, you dumbass. Do you see the sign? It says, Don't go, don't walk. It's red. It's God damn, pay attention. So, the fact that none of the bystanders try to stop this fucker 
You're just looking for this even more fucked up. It was very unrealistic, too, because I've seen a shit ton of time where someone, even a group of people, will grab someone by the collar of shirt and say, hey, man, pay, pay attention. No, he just walked around the road. He just got hit, just like that. So it makes you look more like he just wanted to commit suicide. I'm like, okay, I'm getting off of that because if I, I, I could spend the whole entire video just being angry about that one scene. That one scene. Okay, he was reincarnating without explanation into another world. He starts out as a baby. Mmm, a baby. He starts out as a baby. So he starts his life from the, from the beginning. Wow. Reminds me of something. I don't know what. Not yet. Anyways, he is taken in by two old people. Mainly the old man named Merlin. He is an old hero of time. Very powerful. Very famous in his kingdom. He's also raised by a group of other famous and powerful people. His grandma was also a powerful sorceress. His uncle is actually a king. His brother and sister, well, he calls him big brother and sister, are a high-ranking mage and high-ranking knights. His trainer is actually uh, also a veteran in war as well. So he's being trained by all these very powerful, famous people. And because of that, he grows up being extremely overpowered. The fact is, it shows up through his life as, you know, five-year-old, eight-year-old, ten-year-old. He's hunting on his own. He even freaking one-shots a freaking demon. And he didn't feel sorry for his death. The problem with this anime... I don't know, I'm going to keep going with the plot. He's still on the plot. When it hit his 15th birthday, he realized he's too powerful and too ignorant in that other countries or other people will try to use him. So why not send him to a university where he learn to socialize, make friends, and understand more about the world? So he goes there with his grandparents. Then he's out there at night one day, and he sees a cliche, and he sees a group of guys, of course, trying to harass these two girls. These two girls. That's what he's doing. And he says, wow, a group of muscular men harassing women at night. How cliche. Dude, your whole entire show is a fucking cliche. Everything about it is cliche. All of it. From the way you died, from not knowing not much about your backstory as in the real world, how overpowered you already are, how you're all magically famous and everything's given to you, and now how you say beat up some dudes in the back alley. And how I bet when you make it to the school, you'll be the strongest person in the school. And girls will fall for you. And the other guys will be jealous and nobles and shit. And try to freaking screw you over. I can already read your entire fucking story. And you want to say this scene is cliche? Bitch, your entire life is cliche. That's what it is. This is anime it has no substance. And to make it worse... It, I was reading the comments, even I felt that. Even I haven't read the manga, I've read no light novels, nothing. And I'm like, this feels rushed as fuck. You don't have time to really sit there and sympathize with the characters. You, you don't. You, you don't. It's like, okay, he's grown up, oh, he's age, he's with his old man, the old man really likes him. All of a sudden, you don't even get time to, you know, feel sorry for his parents' death that were killed by a demon. It just it rushes into that, too. He just immediately kills the creature that apparently kills his parents when he was just a baby without knowing about it and shit. Just one-shots down. He does all these spells. <sighs> then, as you know, at the end of it, he's already 15 years old and he's off to the Magic University. This was so rushed. Like, my god. Oh, shit, like, this was some terrible ass writing. This was terrible fucking writing. Jesus Christ. Ugh. But yet, I am fascinated. I am fascinated by this somehow or some way, in some form. I am, I'm like, you know what? I watched this. And to pour more salt into the open wound... This anime is dubbed the same day the subs come out. Really? Of all the anime that's coming out this season that are better than this, by Funimation, this is the one you choose to dub the quickest. 
Really? Shield Hero, I understand Shield Hero. Shield, Shield Hero is the most talked about anime right now. It's, it's loved. It's loved. It's loved by the normies. It's loved by guys like you and me. And it's extremely hate by the retarded SJWs left. It's really hate. But this is nothing special. Nothing special whatsoever, but it's getting such a, a wonderful treatment. I will still continue to watch the show, but there's no way in hell I am reviewing it. <laughs> no, I'm not playing through myself with that cringe fest. Hell no. I'm just sitting here like, well, you know, you already know what to expect. Another review of this cliche show, so you know what's going to happen. However, I did hear this. This show doesn't take the harem route. In fact, it actually... It actually... He only falls in love with one girl. And he does his best to fall, for her to fall in love with him. So that one aspect I do like. It's not him. Something that the other show I, I'm waiting for to come out doesn't do. Now the show that every variety of... And even people on Twitter. People on Twitter who watch the show. Even people who are facing on anime Facebook groups said this. This is a Mashoko Tensai ripoff. I'm sorry it took so long to get me saying it. I just wanted to rant so badly about the show. This is exactly a Moshoko Tensai. I put it on myself on a Facebook group saying, this is Moshoko Tensai, but done wrong. Done horribly wrong. And the reason why this video is so long because there's a lot to talk about. There's one freaking terrible episode. Comparing this show to one Moshoko Tensai, it needs to. I don't know how people can rip off of the, sh the granddaddy, but do it in all the wrong ways. I just don't know how. You have the foundation right there for you. Pick the right fruit and go on with it. But apparently they can't do that. First of all, with Rudius. You know about Rudius' past life. You know he was a scumbag. You know he was a terrible person. He neglected everybody. He was severely bullied in middle school and became a shut in high school and just grew up just becoming a total neat. He grew into some very very disturbing habits. So you knew about his past life. He was killed and hit by a truck because he was trying to save a group of teenagers that were arguing, fighting each other, and he was trying to stop them because the, the truck driver was asleep. He gets hit by the truck because he was trying to save them. Okay. He didn't just idiotically just walk in the middle of the street. Next. Well, that's towards the end of the volume to find out how Rudius got put into that world. They explain how Rudius got reincarnated into that world. A very sad and tragic story, which I reckon you read for yourself. It's a very sad story, actually, why he's in that world, Rudius is. Anyways, he is brought into that world. It shows him learning magic. It shows him training with the sword. And even when he's training, he's not one-shotting everybody. In fact, he gets butt beat a lot. He trains, the only thing he's really good at is studying and magic. He trains really hard in magic. Since at the age of three, he is trying his best to learn magic. And because he studied magic at a young age, he learned to use voiceless incantations. So because of that, he became a prodigy. He was trained by even a good teacher who studied magic for years, and he was able to become a saint class. Understandable. But even then, he was not good at sword fighting or physical fighting because he was mostly a mage. So he wasn't going around beating everybody up. Hell, there's this one girl he meets, one of the main characters, who doesn't even really know how to use magic, can be on his ass. And she doesn't know how to use magic. He goes, he doesn't really, and plus the story rushed. If they rush the story, Michelle would tend to like that because his adventure starts off, he really starts off when he's at the age of 10, and he goes through a lot of crazy shit. They can't do a time skip like they did in this anime. They just can't do it. It'll be illogical, and it'll piss off so many people. This was terrible. Oh my god, this is the Moshoko Tensai done wrong. That's why uh, I just can't wait for Moshoko Tensai to get animated. I can't wait. I really can't wait. Because of stuff like this. It's like, 
everyone on Twitter that I know is saying this is a ripoff of Shoko Tensai. And it is. It shows. But it's terrible and it's generic. No substance whatsoever. Nothing to really make it stand out. It's good to watch to kill some time. I'm not going to lie there. I will still watch it. But other than that, hell no. This is bad. Sorry for this long ass rant, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This rant is long. But um, not as long as my other ones before. I, I did some long rants, but it's been a while. It's been a while. So anyway, that's like I got rant video. Something I did not need this morning, but it gave me an excuse to pull out a video today. So aren't you happy? So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, will you check out Kenja no Mongo for yourself and let me know what you feel about it because God damn. <laughs> so anyways, you already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. And of course, hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload. This has been Matt Crown on Manime. Signing out.